All right, guys, we're going to get into a UU battle uh, versus uh, Very Vulpex. And, uh, of course, it's going to be uh, a UU double match. So we're using the UU tier and under. Uh, so let's go ahead here and choose the battle music. And we did actually go through, and both of us are using completely random Pokemon. So today, the random generator was uh, able to provide me with Agron, Spiritomb, Plessel, Claydol, Pyroar, and Lucario. Not Lucario. Wow, Ludicolo. Uh, Ludicolo. Let's do it up. Hopefully I just selected the right team, because I used my figure to select on the screen. Do do do. Okay. So. Looks like there is a Nidoqueen, uh, Leafeon, Jolteon, uh, Gardevoir, Agron, and Venusaur. Okay, let's get our pokes all selected up here. Alright, and good luck there, Very Vulpex, and uh, be sure to have some fun as well. Uh, hopefully everyone in the stream is uh, enjoying the stream there tonight. Uh, we've had a lot of battles so far, right now we're on to battle number 13 out of 21. Uh, so there's quite a lot of battles. Currently right now it's actually 20 after 11, so... I'm gonna actually close the battle list at this point, uh, because I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to get all these battles done. Uh, so let me close the battle list. <laughs> All right, there we go. So good luck there, uh, Vulpix, and uh, again, enjoy the battle. All right, so we're gonna lead off with Claydol and uh, Eggron. And it looks like Eggron and uh, Nidoqueen are gonna come out from our opponents. So that is actually pretty cool. Um, Uh, so how it works there, Yolo, is uh, the list is still active. It just means that no one new is going to be able to get onto the list, so... Hey, you're very welcome there, uh, I bang with chickens. Um, so let's go ahead here and choose how we're going to do this battle. Uh, so let's go for the Psychic onto the Nidal Queen, And let's go for the Mega here, and uh, go for the Earthquake. Now, of course, Claydol has Levitate, so it's not going to be a problem. So the Psychic took it down to the red zone. There's the Crunch. And I should be able to survive that. Which is nice. Alex is going to go for the Earthquake here. That should finish off the Nidal Queen. Uh, also as well, uh, the Aggron should be hurt by that. But it doesn't look like it did that much. Uh... Oh man. Not going to do a whole lot of damage there with my Aggron. Because I am uh, max defense here, so... Uh, we are going to get some leftovers back with the clay doll, so that is soup. Oh, Leafeon. That is not good. That is some bad news bears right there. Uh, especially for the clay doll, anyway. Uh, so I decided I'm going to go for the Earth Power to the Aggron, and the Fire Punch to the Leafeon. Oh, shit! We're battling... Ah, oh, what? You know what I just realized there, uh, Vulpex? Uh, you, are, you have four Pokémon to my six. Just uh, messaging uh, Vulpex here at the moment. I'm not sure why they only chose four Pokemon. I actually chose all six. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Vulpex to let me know what they want to do. Uh, we should probably start over, but with the same leads. <laughs> uh, 
That's unfortunate. I, I didn't know that we were only battling with four. All I heard was it was a doubles battle. I'm just gonna wait to find out what the response will be. Okay, so let's um, let's quit the battle. So we're gonna actually stop it. Um, I'm just gonna find out if we're gonna do uh, six or four Pokemon. So, okay, let's stop there for a sec. I'm gonna start with the same leads. Um, hopefully, Vulpix will do that as well. But all right, so <laughs> it's in. Vulpix and I are gonna do a six uh, six Pokemon double battle. Uh, so <laughs> let's get this started again. That 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 stuff happens. Um, see, a lot of us are so used to the um, online uh, ranked system, uh, where you can only choose four Pokemon. That sometimes we don't always select all six. Uh, Tavius forty five. Thank you very much for the follow, love, and support, man. Much appreciated. Uh, so, like I said, uh, I'm a man of my word, so I'm going to go with uh, all six of my Pokemon. But I'm going to start off with the same leads, uh, so that way it's fair. All right, good luck there, Vulpix. Um, I'm glad to see that we both have six pokes this time, so it should be a lot more fun uh, than just the uh, the six versus the four, of course. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, we got the Agron and Claydol, and of course, uh, Very Vulpix is going to start off with the same ones as well. Uh, so there's the Nidoqueen Queen and the Agron. So, if I'm not mistaken, I went for Psychic onto the Nidal Queen, and I went for the Mega Evolution and went for the Earthquake onto uh, both of those pokes. Now, of course, we don't have to go by the same attacks if that's what you want there, uh, Vera Veltex. If you are free to do whatever you like, um, I'm just going to go for the same thing like I would normally. Is there a way you can use six pokes in the battle spot? Uh, there is, but it's, uh, I believe, on rotation battle or triple battle. I think it's rotation battle, where you can use all six of your Pokemon. I could be wrong, though. I haven't done those ones in a while. I usually do single battle, to be honest with you. Um, doubles, I'm getting a little more into. Um, triples, I'm not a huge fan of triple battles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool there, Vulpix. Um, what is Rotation Battle? So essentially you send out three Pokemon at a time, but your middle Pokemon is the one that it's focused on. Uh, so essentially you can rotate your Pokemon out to the left or the right. So essentially the Pokemon that's in the middle you can swap with the one that's on the left, or swap with the one that's on the right. Um, but the idea is, is that you gotta try to predict what your opponent's going to do. Oh, going for the Dragon Claw of the Egg Rock. Um, probably not gonna do a whole lot. There is the type resistance there. Um, I'm not sure what Pokemon's going to come in because this is a little different there than the last. Uh, so it looks like Leafeon's going to come in. That is cool. Um, Aggron is still on the field, so I'm going to go for the Earth Power to the Aggron. Uh, but I'm going to go for the Fire Punch to the Leafeon and see if we can actually uh, take out the Leafeon. Uh, I could theoretically go for the Fire Punch onto the Aggron, but the only thing with doing that... Um, is it doesn't allow me it doesn't allow me to get the Leafeon out of there. So let's focus on the Leafeon for a moment and uh, see if we can maybe do some <laughs> do some damage here. What's up there, Yellow Mixed Wagons? <laughs> What's going on, bud? There's a Victini in your PC. <laughs> Must be a virus. Hopefully you have a really good antivirus software. Must be using Bitdefender, are you? Using Bitdefender? No? Sorry, that's me just being a, a techie that I am. Uh, Lycon95, uh, thank you very much for the follow, love, and support, man. Much appreciated. All right, so we were able to get the Earth Power off onto the Aggron to take out the Aggron, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, there's the Fire Punch coming in to the Leafeon here now. 
Uh, only doing about uh, maybe about a third of the damage, but we are able to uh, get the burn off onto Lufion. So that is going to restrict his attack power. Um, so that's awesome as well. Uh, we may be seeing Jolteon come in, I'm not sure. But uh, I can't remember the other pokes that are on the team, so I apologize. Oh, Venusaur, nice swap in. All right, so we do see a Venusaur come out to play. So there's two grass types on the field. Um, I do, however, still have the uh, Ladle. So I'm going to go for the Psychic onto the Venusaur. But I am going to go for the Fire Punch to the Leafeon and see if we can get some damage to the Leafeon there as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice! Taking out the Claydol. I think that's the longest a Claydol has ever stayed into a battle for me, so... Oh, nice! Sleep Powder from the Venusaur. Uh, so the Venusaur did put the Aggron to sleep, so... It is open to attacks, of course. I'm not going to be huge on swapping out the Aggron at this point. Let's see what I can maybe bring in here. I think what I'll do is I'll bring in Patrick. Uh, Patrick is the uh, Pyroar. Uh, Tavius, the battle is currently closed at the moment. Uh, right now it's about 11.30 and I have up to 21 to 22 battles on the battle list. Uh, so I'm currently not accepting any more battlers there tonight, but I will be back uh, probably tomorrow afternoon to do some more battles. Um, but I, uh, I am going to be staying up as late as possible in order to try to finish off the current battle list. Okay, so let's go to the flamethrower onto the Venusaur. And then we're going to try to Fire Punch onto the Leafeon. Okay, so the Venusaur's going to swap out. Uh, definitely a good idea. Going into the Jolteon, uh, especially with the Aggron currently still fast asleep. Uh, so there's the Flamethrower hitting onto the Jolteon. Not going to be enough to take it out, of course. There's the Aerial Ace going to go right for the Pyroar. Uh, and of course, Alex is uh, still asleep. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to do anything there with that uh, Aggron. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do here... Um, I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice, but I'm going to swap out the Aggron, maybe? I want to see what Patrick can do. Oh wait, we have two Patricks! Ha! Sick! Uh, so Patrick is the Pyroar, and it's also the Blussel. I must have been running out of names when I was choosing pokes. So, Patrick versus Patrick. <laughs> Alright, there's a Hyper Voice taking up the Leafeon and the Jolteon. And there they go. Alright, uh, so Gardevoir is coming in. Uh, most likely that's going to be the Mega, or it might be the Venusaur, I'm not too sure at this point. Uh, we still have the Pyroar and we have the Bustle. Uh, so, let's see here what we can do with either or. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower to the Venusaur. Um, but what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to Nasty Plot with the Bustle. I might need to Nasty Plot it. Because I don't think Bustle alone is going to be able to do any major damage to that Gardevoir. You guys seem to be getting a little quiet in the chat. How's everyone there doing there this evening? Uh, I noticed that there was some talk about the team and the PC, and then it just kind of faded. Uh, so there's the flamethrower for the Venusaur. Uh, the Venusaur going down, of course. There's the nasty plot from Lustle, so that's going to raise the special attack. And Gardevoir is going to get the psychic off onto uh, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick and Patrick. Um, here. Alright, the Dark Pulse, here we go. And... Nice. Alright, so that's going to be the battle there, so GG Very Vulpix, thank you very much for the battle. I definitely enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it in the uh, chat as well. And uh, we're going to go ahead here and move on to the next battle, which is verse uh... the map? Bematism, I think it is. Uh, hopefully you're still around, bud. <laughs> All right, catch you guys in the next battle.